But then I noticed they have size 14 to 24 now, which is size fat, y'all. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. Welcome to the vlog in this weird upward angle. I'm having a tuna sandwich for lunch. Um, <laughs> I've been editing the podcast multiple all day and they were long and there was a lot of Skype interruption so it's been a bunch of work but finally lunch vegan tuna pickles lettuce there's some tomato in there if you can see it marble bread and I'm super duper excited for it I have on makeup for the first time in forever and I have to go shoot Instagram pictures in a little bit so I'll take you guys with me to do that after I have my sandwich I haven't had this in a long time, so. This is one of my favorite stores, Altered State, and they're doing their 60% off sale, and there was a purse I really wanted, but then I noticed they have size 14 to 24 now, which is size fat, y'all. These beanies are super adorable, and the blankets that I like during Christmas are marked down to 29, and then they're 60% off, but I'm not getting these. I have so many blankets. Their boots are always vegan, too, and surprisingly wide width. Do we like? We're like a cowboy, but a cool one? Hmm, tell me, what do you think? I have plenty of room in the toe, which is odd for me. Very rare, they're a size 10. Now that I got a fantastic deal, so all of that stuff, two dresses, a pair of boots, and a cute purse for $51, but I had a gift card. So I only paid a few bucks of my own money, and I'm so happy because I'm restructuring the infamous capsule, but now I gotta go take some yoga pictures for Instagram. Basically, I was gonna go grocery shopping, but Nicole's having really bad allergies, and when I feel like she can't breathe, I don't like leaving her home alone. So, that was all of my Tupperware from the week that I just brought out of the car from yoga teacher training. It just toppled over. So, I'm either gonna go later tonight after the traffic dies down, because if I leave right now at 5 p.m., It'll take me like four hours. But if I leave around maybe seven, get to Costco before it closes at 8.30, then run to the Asian market, I should be able to do it within like two hours, like half the time. So I also need to get my laundry done tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead, separate my laundry. And I think after it all comes back, I'm gonna audit my capsule and kind of restructure it for going into spring fall even though it's still winter now um and have i still like having the all seasons capsule but i just want to change up my color theme a little bit i think i'm gonna get rid of the burgundy and work in some earth tones you'll see once it all comes together i gotta go drop my laundry off i started taking my own detergent because I don't like the one that they use. I've been using this one lately, the BioClean, 
It's lavender and eucalyptus. So I take my stuff to a place like this. I just don't really like this place that much. They're fast though and yeah they're fast and close to my house so what i started doing was i do like my basic stuff here like my towels my um workout clothes stuff like that that you really can't shrink and then like my dresses staple pieces stuff like that i actually dropped them off at my old job <laughs> and they give me a little bit of a discount on dry cleaning there so i get like the non-management employee rate for dry cleaning for like my important stuff somehow I end up with all three of Bella. Bella, what's going on, huh? <laughs> Look at the sisters, they're sharing. Jeez. Are you sharing, Winky? Winky, are you sitting by your sissy? Nicole's not her. I know, she doesn't want to share her chair at all. Jinx is so cute, she's so big. Mm -hmm. Compared to Nicole. I know, and Bella. Yeah. You can't have anything to yourself, can you, Nicole? <laughs> Let me see your outfit. Um, everyone always says you look like you don't want to be vlogged. Sorry. Because you always vlog at, like, the most random times. Always? Yes. But I always vlog. So the most random time is always. She had on these cute, um, boots, but she took them off. I like your California Dreamin' shirt. I do, too. And your That's scarf. Cool. Mm -hmm. 17 year olds <laughs> sassy at 17 I've always been sassy yeah what are your future plans in life tell people what do you have going on um, you know, college stuff college stuff good that's what <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> nice collarbones thank you very sexual <laughs> look at the baby's lips. Oh, look at your lipstick, Winky. Hi, Belly. Hi, my Belly girl. I love you the mostest. Yeah, that's my Belly baby. Yeah, that's my Belly baby. I love you so much. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at that face. Look at that face, Bella. Oh, my other babies. Kayla was my first baby, Nicole was my second baby, Bella was my third baby, and Winky is my fourth baby. My mom says she wants one more dog. What is she gonna do with four dogs? None of us have any clue. Nicole's getting a bit of an attitude. Look, she's looking away because her sisters took over her chair. She likes her own chair to herself. Look how big they are. Nicole's just a little, little muffin back there. Jinx is bigger than everyone and hers the baby. She doesn't have anything for you girls. Hi, Jinxie baby. Hi, Bally baby. Hi, Kayla baby. <laughs> she is a baby. Jinx. Being a baby, Jinxie. You didn't like my obstacle course? You didn't like my obstacle course? <laughs> when she was going through my legs, I squeezed them tight so she was stuck and she's she's pouting with Kayla now. <laughs> Fun story, I did something wonky to my ankle. Well, more like my Achilles than my ankle. So I'm having a house call doctor come by to do a Toradol shot on me. Little Miss is feeling a lot better. You hear that? Clear. <laughs> Clear breathing, right, honey? <laughs> so her nose is a little dry, which the vet said is normal because it's cold outside and Benadryl dries out the nasal passages because trying to get rid of the mucus. So I'm going to get her some nose balm. And yeah, she's just relaxing. <laughs> Sweet girl. Oh, and we got her a humidifier too. It's all been helping. I oh, got my shot. Boink! Uh, two shots actually I ended up getting a b12 too just because I'm kind of shitty at taking my b12 supplements so if you just get shot up every once in a while you can go a good while if that takes in my experience I don't know if that's real but for me it's been fine my b12 actually never been low but just getting one like boosts my energy for the next couple of weeks so it's awesome um, then I got a Toradol which is a non-steroid anti-inflammatory drug they have a steroid type 
as well. It's not the same version, but they do have a steroidal one, but I don't go for steroids. Um, so I got both of those, and I'm feeling less pain already, which is amazing. Um, you know, yoga teacher training is a lot. It's, like, intense, so it's really good to have, like, a tool like that, and they're really affordable. If you live in Austin, it's called Smooth Aesthetics ATX, and it's $25 for a B12 shot, um, and then $25 for the Toradol. Some other places you can walk in and get B12 shots, usually you can buy, like, a pack. Of like four and they end up being maybe like 20 15 to 20 each but they do house calls which I love he came right over did my shots didn't have to leave my house which is really awesome so smooth aesthetics ATX obviously it's not sponsored I paid for it out of my own doll hairs but they were really awesome so now I'm gonna go soak in the tub for a little bit and read my book because I was listening to the book on Audible and something felt weird about it <laughs> um, but it was a different version than the one I have so now I have to read 53 pages in the next like hour which is fine I'm a fast reader and then write down three discussion topics for my groups in yoga teacher training so that's what I'm gonna go do right now we just got out of the shower <laughs> or the tub I read the first 53 pages of this I'm so last minute this week um so I'm going through and reading the types of poses. Then I have to do my quiz on the bones still. So I'm just reading through the types of poses right now. It's 4.32. I need to leave at 5. I don't have that much more to read of this. So I should still be good. I just have to get dressed and make sure I have water and stuff. Let's see if I can do this without cheating. <laughs> so the big one is the tibia, fibula, femur. I think that's pointing at the sacrum, the ilium, the scapula, clavicle, a, what are you pointing to? Oh, sternum. This is the humerus, this side is the radius side, this side's the ulna side, that little guy there is the coccyx, and that is the patella. Okay, now the spine, the very top is the cervical. The middle is the thoracic. The bottom vertebras are the lumbar. And then again, this is the sacrum and then the coccyx. So I think I'm going to ace this quiz, guys. We're not doing the muscles yet. Thank the Lord. And I know my son's LA, so I'll pass that. It's Nicole and I. Nicole. I. So I'm getting ready to do a big try on haul of everything I ended up getting in altered state altogether. Ugh. I'm like tempted to go to the second location because it's 70% off right now and see if they have this dress that I really, really wanted, but they didn't have it in my size at this one. Oh, it's the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. <laughs> it's so hard to find like boho style stuff in plus size that's done right. Like it's almost impossible. And that's totally my style, like boho and then kind of like leather and lace. That's me. And... Um, I was supposed to have my vocal lesson this morning, but she had to reschedule, so it'll be tomorrow instead, which is a blessing in disguise because I really, really wanted coffee, and she doesn't allow her clients to have coffee within two hours of singing, so I'm really happy that I get to have coffee now, and I get to have it tomorrow too, so as long as I have it at 10 o'clock tomorrow, my vocal cords will be clear by 12.30, so yay coffee um right now i'm just having water with lemon and it has a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it too i have a lot of homework to do so we did the muscles quiz for the tibialis anterior the soleus the quads hamstrings adductors and abductors um and then we had a book that we had to read and we did a lecture on that book i'm just trying to see if there's reading today because if i procrastinate on reading i do not get it done in time um so we have to study Sun A and Sun B for Friday, and then write the three main cues for each pose in Sun Salutation A and B, like we would instruct it in real life. And then we have to record ourselves using the cues in practice based on our own teaching. So basically, I'll say upward salute. So inhale, breathe arms up, and root down through your feet. And then like each one, you have to do three um cues and then practice based on your cues only and then we also have to take 
two yoga classes this week. I'm taking one today, one tomorrow, and observe how our adductors, abductors, hamstrings, and quads feel in each stretch if they're if it's flexion or if it's not and then read the history of yoga and influential yogis and then observe people in our regular life how they carry themselves and that's all oh and fill out our nutrition journal so that's all we're doing this week which doesn't seem that bad so i might actually instead of going to two separate classes um, just do Sun A and Sun B for a full hour, so that's equal to a class, and it's doing my homework at the same time. So, <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do, but I did want to show you guys something. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just really excited about it. Four Sigmatic has skincare. You guys know I'm a skincare junkie, so they have a superfood serum, and then this is the mushroom mask, but the thing that's special about these is this is also a tonic. So it's a mask for your face, but then you can mix it with water and drink it, so it's like from the inside and outside, and the same with the serum for your face. It's a facial oil, and it's also um, a tonic or whatever I don't know you you can eat this too so all of it's like edible skincare so you can use them together internal and external which I think it's so cool I was finally able um, to reach out to them and get an all the time discount because you know previously you could only get 15% off of your first order now you can get 10% off of all orders after that with just the code Eden all caps so Super exciting there. I'll put the link down below for Four Sigmatic and if you already order from them and you want to get 10% off all of the time instead of just like the first time. I know some of you guys are like, I was sneaky and I used different emails so that I could get 15% off a couple of times, but that only works for so long, I'm sure. Um, so that's 10% always. But I can't wait to try these out. I'm super excited for them, um, especially the mask because Yoga teacher training is doing a number on my skin because we're there during the day. We're there from 8 to 6, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I sweat on my face. And then I wash it like the best I can while I'm there. But it's not like I have like my whole skincare routine there because you already have to like take meals and everything else there. So my skin's been like, I've been getting a few more little breakouts than I typically get. Ooh, cute. Look, it comes with a little spoon for your mask. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, it says mix 1.5 teaspoons and 1 teaspoon of water. Apply to skin, allow to dry for 15 to 20 minutes, rinse and use weekly. And for tonic, use 1 teaspoon um, with 7 ounces of hot water. And you can enhance it with your choice of nut milk or sweetener. So that's super duper cool. I love that. I love that they included that. And the packaging is really cute too. But yeah, my skin's just been like weird. And you're kind of in sweaty clothes all day. Like we change. A lot of us change. But you're still like gross because there's no shower. And there's too many of us to shower within our hour long break. But like I said, there's no shower. So you're just like sweaty betty um for all day it's really nasty um, <laughs> it's just gross um but, but like i said there's 35 of us so there wouldn't be time within our hour break for all of us to shower but when we finish practicing in the morning we don't even get a full hour we get 10 minutes to get our breakfast so we don't even if we were all to try to shower we would have to wait until one o'clock because our lunch is from one to two. So you'd be in your sweaty clothes from 8 a.m. after you practice until 1 p.m. and then shower. So you're just like sitting in your filth. <laughs> so, so nasty. Um, here's what the serum looks like. I can't wait to use this stuff. I've been waiting to use it because I wanted to show you guys before I got it all gross and stuff. But I'm really excited for this stuff. But yeah, I'm going to have lunch in a bit here. So I guess I'll show you what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> I love the smell of this. I don't know exactly what the smell is, but it kind of smells like a mocha, like chocolate and cocoa. You can smell like the earthiness too, but 
I just feel like Four Sigmatic stole my idea because I used to take their elixirs and mix them into clay mask and put those on my face because the ingredients in them are so good for your skin. So I've been doing this for like, I don't know, like six to eight months. I'm sure these things have been in development for more than six to eight months, so I know they didn't really steal it from me. But I'm just saying, I was the OG putting Four Sigmatic on my face. <laughs> now they have skincare. So I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna luxuriate, corpse it out for 10 to 15 minutes, then wash this off and then apply the serum. I did take some before pictures, so I'm gonna use this for a couple of months and do before and afters and see if I notice a difference. Oh, my mask is done. I put on the serum. I feel great. Um, but obviously I have to test it. It's the first impression. So I just have some coffee and I'm actually using the Nut Pod Creamer. I've never used it before. Everyone says it's not impressive, but yeah, it's the French Vanilla one. Let's see. I think it's fine. Just tastes like an unsweetened latte. So I'm gonna have this and then I'll probably have lunch. I'm just not hungry yet. Um, I try not to eat when I'm not hungry, so I usually don't end up eating until the afternoon sometimes, which for a while I tried to force it because everyone's like, breakfast is the most important meal. And if you eat breakfast, you know, I don't know, like it helps you stay on an eating pattern. But for me, if I eat breakfast, I still forget to eat until later in the day. And um, I don't know, I just have weird feelings about eating when I'm not hungry, even if people say you should eat in the morning. And I've always gotten nauseous from eating in the morning anyhow. So yeah, my life with no breakfast. Puppy massage, puppy massage ASMR. Are you ready for your breakfast? Breakfast? Are you ready for your breakfast? Yeah? Are you ready for your breakfast? Do you love breakfast? In your Benadryl? Yeah. You ready for your breakfast in your Benadryl? Are you, baby? Okay. I gotta go cook it for you. I gotta go cook it for you. Yeah. Oh, I love you. You're so sweet. Oh my goodness. You're the sweetest girl. <laughs> You're the sweetest girl. Oh, thank you for the hug. And that puppy loving. Is that puppy loving? Yeah. That's my girl. That's my girl. So this is my lunch. It's cucumber, tomato, avocado, quinoa, and pumpkin seeds. So I love this lunch. It's something that I eat most weeks. And what I do for my dressing is I squeam, I squeam. I squeeze like half a lime and then I put like olive oil on it. This is a basil olive oil that my friend Stacy got me. And it's super delicious, super filling. And I just have this 
But for my quinoa, it looks like my boobs leaking. I don't know what's happening. I just make a big giant thing at the beginning of the week and then I usually have a little bit in my salad for lunch and then it's like my main grain at dinner too even though quinoa is technically a seed not a grain but um this just has some of the olive oil in it um some black pepper some cumin garlic powder and that's all so then I can flavor it really however I want to and um I'm also gonna have some pickles with it some days I do kimchi because I do like to have something fermented at least once a day with my food I've been liking these fresh pickles <laughs> I get these at Costco they're really really yummy I love 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 all of the goodies in here I mean obviously you don't eat the grape leaf but there's like tons of dill to flavor them tons of garlic which I actually eat mm. But these pickles are so amazing. Um, they expire within like a month, so you have to eat them very fast. But um, I'll have a couple of these too. But one ferment, one today, so that will probably be at dinner today. But I'm going to add my olive oil and my lemon to this guy and eat it. The pumpkin seeds make it delicious. Before I chow down, I wanted to show you the two sauces that I use the most often. So I got this at Trader, Ju Trader, Jews, <laughs> Trader Joe's just not that long ago, and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's called the Zouge, or I don't know. You guys probably know better how to pronounce it. It's so, so good. It's spicy, but not over the top spicy, and it's so good. And also, if you're not afraid of like oil, I'm obviously not afraid of oil. The garlic spread slash dip. This is so good on top of roasted veggies. It's amazing. And it's just like citric acid, garlic, lemon, and canola oil. It's so, so good. So sometimes I'll melt some of this down um, and put it into this kind of salad or put the zouge. It's all very, very good. So... Those are kind of my favorite pre-made dips from Trader Joe's. I tried the pesto. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't love their cheese dip either. But those two mesh really well with this type of salad. And it's a pretty big dish. But um, I don't care. It's good. And I love it. So I'm going to add my dressing, like I said, and make Nicole her breakfast. Mmm. So simple. so good i was going to record myself doing my homework but if i do that one this vlog might be too long two um it'll be too late to edit it <laughs> so i want to edit this and get this up so homework will be in the next vlog okay this is partially lies because usually i would have um some tofu right around here and i am gonna have some kimchi with this too but um i'm all out of tofu I don't know how that's possible. I have some guardian chicken, but by the time I remembered, I didn't feel like cooking it. But quinoa has so much protein that I'm not worried about it. So quinoa, some green beans with that garlic sauce on it, avocado, and the zouche sauce. So yeah, this is it. Sometimes I do like um, a bean pasta or gluten-free pasta instead of quinoa, um, but usually like an avocado or something like that or like an avocado and tomato salad i like to have that too and then kale asparagus green bean something green i'm gonna have this bubby's spicy sauerkraut instead of kimchi i love this stuff it's kind of new she used to just have the regular but the spicy is so good okay i am cooking up a few pieces of this to go in here just a couple pieces i think i have five strips cooking up so yeah, super duper yummy. Of course, I'm having kiwis. I'm having two of them, golden ones from Costco. I'm obsessed, obsessed. So that takes like um, five minutes to cook. I just put the green beans in a pot with some avocado oil, cover it so they steam and then they get charred on one side at the same time. Then throw in some of that garlic stuff at the very last second to give it some nice flavor. I don't even heat the quinoa. <laughs> I just put it straight in there because I feel like once you put the stuff around it, it kind of gets warm once you mix it and stuff. I like cold quinoa anyway because I eat quinoa salad, so not a big deal to me. But super fast. I just wanted to show you guys what I eat because um, I eat the same thing pretty much every day for the week. I used to do a lot of grocery hauls that kind of explain to you guys what I really eat. 
but along the way i just stopped doing them <laughs> and like i said what i ate in a day is their fantasy those are things that i never eat during the week i only eat them on the weekends and nowadays um i'm old and i have acid reflux and stuff so i eat them barely ever <laughs> um but yeah i have this extra coffee from earlier boink so I'm just going to put this in the fridge so I have iced coffee for tomorrow. But that's going to about do it for me, guys. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Why am I still holding this? I have no idea. Until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly, and I hope you love yourselves even more. I'll talk to you really, really soon. Bye. Podcast time. Got my mic. Got my screens. Ready to go.